This movie doesn't have a good script, but its technique and image are very pleasing. Look at these monsters. Today I will introduce you to the movie. Hellboy. In 517 AD. Between humans and dark creatures there is war. The Queen of Blood is the most powerful witch. She spreads the disease everywhere. Helpless against her strength, King Arthur and Merlin came to surrender to the Blood Queen. But Arthur just pretended to surrender. They beat her down. The queen's blood flowed onto the tree. They worry that she will revive. Arthur decided to divide her body, put it in six boxes, and took it to hide all over the kingdom. Time passed. This is Hellboy. A few days ago, one of his friends went missing. Today he met that friend again. But his friend started turning into a monster. Hellboy took him down. Before he died, the friends said a few words to Hellboy. Elsewhere, two monsters once defeated by Hellboy are discussing a plan to deal with him. They decided to revive the Blood Queen. After he got to England, meet a white-haired magician. She talked about Hellboy's past. And to him, his dad is wanting to take advantage of him. He was a bit skeptical about that. That evening, in a monastery deep in the woods. A monster appeared, it killed everyone there. It found a chest containing a part of the Blood Queen's body. It pulled out a monk's tongue, put it into its mouth, then chant the spell to open the crate. After the crate seal disappeared. The Blood Queen has begun to wake up. The next day, Hellboy and a team of hunters went to a small village in the forest. Everything has been destroyed. Then he was sneaked on by the other hunters. He was shocked with electric batons and passed out. Waking up, he found out, those hunters are being eaten by three giant monsters. He continued to be attacked by them. But thanks to his intelligence, Hellboy defeated them. Then, because of exhaustion, he passed out. But before that, there was a woman walking towards him. When he wakes up, he realizes he was saved by a girl. Her name is Alice. His wound was healed. The girl said she was saved by him before. She has the ability to look into the soul. Warn him, the existence of Hellboy makes the sun rise late. At that moment, his dad appeared. Hellboy doubted him very much, but he said he didn't know about it. Then he got a new teammate, Ben. Their next task is to investigate the monastery in the forest. They know that the Blood Queen is being revived. The last chest is hidden in a castle in the forest. But they were too late. Everyone has been murdered. So did the white-haired magician. Alice used her ability to summon the soul. She said, don't let the Blood Queen find King Arthur, otherwise all will end. She disappeared. Hellboy heard a sound in the room. That monster was holding the body of the Blood Queen. He rushed to control the monster, but a light appeared. The Blood Queen appeared, and she fascinated Hellboy, seducing Hellboy to follow her. Ben suddenly appeared interrupting everything. The Blood Queen disappeared. She has almost regained her entire body, the last step is to get blood back from the other tree. Hellboy went back to the barracks, quarreling with everyone. He left, but the elevator went down. When Hellboy woke up, he found a walking castle. Inside, he meets a monster. It lost one eye because of Hellboy. It told him, it could show him where the Blood Queen is, but he must kiss it. He accepts. It tells him the location of the Blood Queen. But before he left, the monster cursed him, he'll have to see the person he loves most die. They came to the other position of the Blood Queen. She knew they had arrived. They have to overcome the monster's guarding. She got her blood back, the Blood Queen has been revived. The monsters praised the person who was their leader. Hellboy has arrived, but he was beaten. But she didn't want to kill him. She wanted him to be her husband, wants him to rule the earth with her. Ben and Alice arrive. She threw a branch at Alice's neck. Hellboy wants to save Alice. They went to the mage Merlin. He's in a cave on the beach. Merlin agrees to save Alice. He chanted a spell and pulled out a branch. Alice has been saved. Then Merlin fainted Ben and Alice. He told Hellboy of his origins. Hellboy's mother is a descendant of Arthur. She was sent to hell and then gave birth to Hellboy. Thus, Hellboy is half the blood of King Arthur, half of him belongs to the devil. Merlin called out Arthur's sword. It was the only weapon that could kill the Blood Queen. This sword can only be used by a descendant of Arthur. But when Hellboy touched the sword, he saw the prospect of him destroying the Earth. Hellboy pulled back in fear. Merlin used all of his last strength to bring the sword here. But Hellboy did not take it, the sword came back to Arthur. Merlin also disappeared with it. The Blood Queen has arrived in the city, beginning to spread sickness. Just a few hours, hundred thousands of people died, disease continues to spread. Hellboy's back to base. His dad has been taken away. 
They found a monastery in the middle of the city. That monster has gotten bigger, it prevents them. Ben turned into a cheetah, attacking the monster. But it was too strong, both Ben and Hellboy were defeated. But the Blood Queen appeared, causing the monster to shrink and explode. She brought Hellboy down to the basement. Arthur Zord appeared. She wants Hellboy to take the sword and destroy the earth. Only Hellboy was worthy of her. She killed Hellboy's dad right in front of him. Hellboy was furious and drew the sword. Become a devil. Hell is also opened, monsters appear. The Blood Queen adores Hellboy. She calls him Lord. But Alice called up Hellboy's dad's soul. He advised to stop Hellboy. Hellboy regained consciousness. The Blood Queen almost convinced him. But. He stabbed his sword to the ground, sending the monsters back to hell. And also the Blood Queen. After that, they continued their journey to destroy monsters. Do you like this video? What film do you want me to do next? Comment below. Like and share for more. Thanks for watching.